All right, now, let me see here. Let the camera straight. So let's go to this bag first. Oh yeah, on the back here I have these. These are also uh, no name brand, but these are like the, um, oh, what is the name brand these called? Grimlocks, I think is what they are. They're the name brand for these. And um, they're just used for Molly gear attachments, so you can unclip it here and hook it onto something. And you can actually hook uh, a strap through there uh, and attach it to several different types of equipment if you need be. Uh, I, I, I bought these. I haven't quite figured out what I want to do with them. Uh, they're, I know they're handy. I just attached them onto the back of this for just to hold on to for now. So in the front of the pack pocket, I have just a regular um, little Stanley pin style uh, screwdriver. And it's got flat tip Phillips, small size. I don't know the number here. Let me see. That's an eighth, and this uh, so that's an eighth of an inch. I guess that's the uh, the driver bit size. And on the other side, we also have a bigger Phillips or cross tip and flat tip. Uh, it's always nice to have a screwdriver if you can just reach for this one and grab it right there. It is. Um, this right here is a a um, 10,400 milliamp hour by RAV power battery pack that I use to charge whatever I might have, cell phones, uh, my uh, Kindle Fire, whatever I might have that needs to charge, I got it right there. You open up the front pouch, I have yet another right in the ring book, a uh, aftermarket brand iPhone lightning charging cable, and that is it in there. I don't know, I guess you could call this my electronics pouch. I know there's some stuff in the back section that I rarely use, but um, here, hopefully I'll get into using it more often. So I have yet another charging cable for the Samsung, and that's the uh, Samsung adapter. I also have a uh, power jive, which um, you plug this in uh, to your power source, and it tells you what the uh, current draw and the voltage and things is coming out of there, so you don't, if you just assume something is giving out 5 volts or 1 amp or whatever the case may be, this will tell you for sure so you don't burn up some equipment. Um, I also have another cable on the bottom here. Uh, that's another mini USB. That's it in the bottom of that. Or is it? And right here I have, this is a, a Sony digital recorder. Now I bought this so I could record things and be away from the camera. Not Like right now I'm right on top of it so you can hear what I'm saying. But there might be instances when I'm farther away from the camera I want to show you something. And if I'm using that, you'll be able to hear me just fine. Uh, this is here. I have a small tin. I think this tin is from a through night flashlight I purchased. Inside it I have, uh, this is the cable to charge the uh, um, Sony digital recorder. So you can plug this into your USB source and you pop that out. That way this is not dangling right on the edge. At least you have a little bit of cabling. It's just an extension. That's all it really is. Um, I also have this device right here, Audio from Audio Technica, and what this does it enables me to plug. I plug this into the bottom of my iPhone, and this enables me to separate the audio from the um, uh, audio out to the audio in. So I can basically plug this into my iPhone and use an external microphone, as opposed to uh, using the ones that came with the uh, in the speakers themselves. And uh, this is just your. Sony, I don't remember the model number of this microphone. Yeah, I do too. It's right there. It's an ECM CS3. Uh, this is what I use sometimes with the digital recorder so I don't have to hold it in front of my face. Um, let's see. I think that might be it for this pouch. And it is indeed. So here's the other pouch. And in front of this, I just have a big fat sh permanent marker. I have another permanent marker here. A uh, mechanical pencil. This is a uh, Tide pen. Uh, you know, if you're at work and uh, you happen to get a stain on your shirt or your tie or whatever the case may be, or even if you're a, a co-worker has the issue, you have a Tide pen to help uh, them out or yourselves out. Now, uh, the front pouch here, I have um, a titanium uh, light my fire spork. These are handy. I have a spare set of contact lenses. I have a spare set of Foster Grant folding reading glasses. And I have several pouches of uh, Cafe Bustello uh, instant coffee and a uh, emergency super fruit uh, drink drink mix. And that's all I have in here. I think what this was 
I think I just piled a bunch of stuff in here that was loose in the bag. But uh, this uh, titanium spork, I mean, it is worth its weight. If you've ever been somewhere and they serve something and run out of forks, or you forget to bring a fork, I never forget mine. Uh, in the back, I have uh, the lockpick kit, a copy of the U.S. Constitution. I have a, uh, I can't remember the name brand of this. Yeah, I do too, it's right there. It is a Frontier water filter straw. Um, down in the bottom of the bag, I have a uh, thumb drive. I can't remember if I have any personal files on here, some uh, address, uh, next of kin, maybe that kind of stuff. I have a spare AAA battery and have a small pocket knife. And that is all I have in the back of this. This is a mismatched set of lock picks. Um, but um, it does the job. It does the job quite well. And that's all for she wrote for that pouch. Uh, the first aid pouch. I have uh, a few of these. This one has ibuprofen in it. This one has some uh, Imodium anti-diarrhea, and this one has Benadryl. And I have a just you know throwaway toothbrush kit over here. I've got a space blanket. Um, I have miscellaneous bandages, alcohol prep wipes. I have some goodies powders, and and this small Altoids tent again with another Ranger band. I have a tick removal tool with a magnifying glass. Um, some hand sanitizer, some super glue. And this is a, if I can get it out of there, a Leatherman Micra. And what I started to do with these, you see those two little dimples? Let me show you. Um, so you see those two little dimples right there? And those are actually my mini, mini magnets that I super glued on here. And I got this from, I think it was Urban Prepper. But you, all the, the devices you put in here, um, see it's, it's, it's not going to go anywhere because it's uh, got magnets on it. And you can put all your tools and things in here. Um, you can have magnets on them so it doesn't fall around and doesn't completely fall out of the uh, the kit when you open it up. This is pretty tight, but um, it only has a few things in it, so I'm okay with that. And this Ranger Band will always keep this Altoids tin closed. And with the uh, hand sanitizer, not only can I sanitize my hands, I can also use it for, for starting a fire as well as this Ranger Band. And that's, um, without going into every little detail on what's in each of these little side pouches that's basically what's in the first aid kit so it sounds like a lot of, of things in a backpack and um, you know it's not like I take them out and use them all the time but um, I, I definitely use a lot of the stuff that's in there and uh, it comes in handy quite often and uh, you know it's uh, better to have and not need than to need and not have and you know just uh, another step towards preparedness and I think everybody needs to be prepared for uh, a lot of different situations that may come up so later on